Hello everyone. So in last class we have learned about the Ho Pono Pono. That is the so a part of anatomy. I am teaching you some healing techniques, uh, especially to the students because uh, they are very stressed nowadays. Or to everyone who are feeling the stress and want to change, want to shift their energy uh, to for better things. So. Mm, I am uh, teaching you the one healing technique that is the Ho Pono Pono. So meaning of Ho Pono Pono is to make it right and we are here to make everything right in your life. Okay. So uh, what is basic Ho Pono Pono that is the introduction part is done. Now in this we this prayer can be used on anything or everything. Okay. So first this basic Ho Pono I am not telling about the advanced or quantum uh, hope you know, there are many more deeper things which need time to learn so a quick review this is for pts pts is what people thing and situation so you can apply this basic hope you know, against a people like if you are bothering your senior or your boss is bothering you or some of the behavior you find I am not going into the is it truly he is bothering you or not or you are just it's a, our mind because we have to take 100% responsibility because we are uh, creating our thoughts and which who, which is creating our life so we have to first take 100% responsibility so the basic essence of this prayer to take 100% responsibility so first thing you will say and you can uh, put the name of the person like you are feeling upset with that person like your boss or your friend or your partner life partner or your kids anyone you can say the name of the person imagine that person in your mind and you can say i love you the name of the person i'm sorry like whatever the xyz what is the name of your boss i'm sorry you uh, i'm sorry my boss i love you my boss i'm sorry my boss please forgive me my boss i let go so you are not saying you are telling the name but you are saying this prayer to your higher self like i am taking the name of my kid because i feel they have some habits some habits which uh, are not there which i want them to have so i will say i love you the good habits of my kids athar and vedika i am sorry the good habits of my kids please forgive me and i let go then the things you can think like your laptop is not working your mobile is not working so that is also made of energy so you can apply to that your tv is not working so any or any situation your internet you have important meeting and your internet it's really traveling you it's not uh, doing um, good or uh, not good signals are there so you can say i love you my internet i'm sorry my internet please forgive me my internet and i let go the feeling the feeling of the irritation frustration all the can be you let go or you release the feeling and that uh, that will be the protocol in which you do the prayer now the important question how many time we have to do it so there is no set rule of how many times you should do it because i don't want to stuck in number uh, keep counting are itna hua itna nahi hua so this will increase your anxiety too you can chant it one auspicious number that is a 55 number which is very good in numerology or either or you chant it like a mantra till the time you feel calm or you feel peaceful so you have to heal your feeling you have to see you are now feeling better or you are now feeling good or not at least good at least you are neutral about the situation you are not in that anger with your boss or you are not so frustrated with your situations so you are relatively calmer peaceful you are feeling the peace within so that is uh, till that time you have to chant so i am not telling you just to be uh, believe me 
like that don't trust me just do it and see it has tremendous tremendous effect but वन थिंग डोंट बी डेस्परेट अरे मैंने तो ओपन ओपन किया इफेक्ट नहीं दिख रहा है एंड डोंट गो चेकिंग इट्स अ सेल्फ जस्ट डू इट एंड सरेंडर टू द यूनिवर्स योर हायर सेल्फ एंड बिलीव इन दैट एंड डू द चैंटिंग सो हैप्पी चैंटिंग एंड हैप्पी पीसफुल लाइफ थैंक यू सो मच